I don't think there's anyone like Joe also today, nor could there be. Presidents would return his phone calls. That just couldn't happen today. Journalism isn't like that. It's so diffused now. He was a columnist. Print journalism was a huge thing, and he was in 80 major newspapers. Uh, nobody has that kind of power now. The columnist is uh, about the political life of this country during the 60s and 70s. And it's about a man, Joe Alsop, who was uh, at the very center of th that story. Looking into it, you discover this really complicated, contradictory, enormous personality, and, and, and one that's tied in very complicated ways to the, the great events of, of American history in the 50s and 60s, and just feeling strongly that this was a figure that you could put at the center of a play. What attracted me to the columnist is, I, I, first of all, I love Dave Auburn's writing. I think he is masterful, so intelligent, uh, has such a sense of theater and has chosen a subject that is so inherently theatrical. I think it's wonderfully eye-opening to compare the effect of journalism on modern-day politics and how easily we are swayed by the, by, uh, you know, go after that bone, go after, you know, they throw, the news commenters throw something, one thing out on the radio and that becomes the point of the next political campaign rather than being led by the actual issues that are, you know, that candidates and people find to be the more important issues. So, and that's in the play, it's fascinating. Joe was, was really known as, as one of the very early and very aggressive attackers of communism. And it's really interesting, when in, the, in the first scene of the play, you see this man sort of titan fighting the, 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 the red threat mm -hmm. in a room with a young man who lives daily in that system, who experiences the bread lines and the KGB. He was the most charming host, the most welcoming person, but he was like a, a dog. You never knew when he was going to change and turn on you. It's a fast, not only a fascinating uh, group of characters, but a fascinating time in American history. You, can, you, you come to see the change in the press, the way the press operates. Now we're in such a, a period of celebrity among journalists. Feeling like th that, you know, th the short Kennedy administration was sort of, was sort of a crucial turning point for, for also because by all accounts, he was, he enjoyed his greatest prestige and influence during those years. And then after the assassination, not only was it personally devastating to him, but some of his professional slide really began then. There are a lot of great writers who can write plot very well, and there are a lot of terrific writers who can write uh, style well and write language well, and then there are some who make character there at, at the forefront. And Dave, is, Dave, like the great classical writer, sort of has an ability to put them all together. John is so gracious and helpful and ready to work and nice. He's so wonderful. He's like a, you know, he plays my, he plays my stepfather in the play, and I feel like he, he is a father figure to me. Bill Moyers is a friend and neighbor of mine, and he said, I told, when, I, when I told him I was playing Joe also, he said, oh yes, I met that snake once. <laughs>